Fit faster with Celsius Solid Roof. Constructed using highly insulated structural insulated panels known as SIPs, Celsius Solid Roof can be weather tight in a few hours. The ideal way to create tiled conservatory style extensions, Celsius Solid Roof is dependable, easy to install and built to last. Celsius Solid Roof Fitting Guide Secure the timber eaves beam sections to the frames using the supplied 140mm screws at a maximum of 500mm centres. It is the installer's responsibility to make sure the correct access safety equipment is used during the installation of the Celsius solid roof system. To set the timber wall starter, first mark a line 50mm from the outer edge of the eaves beam. It's a good idea to make a 16mm spacer and temporarily fix onto the ring beam to hold the underside of the wall starter into its correct position. Position the wall starter over the spacer on the eaves beam timber, ensuring the end of the timber meets the 50mm line of the external edge of the eaves beam. Fit the opposite wall starter and fix both to the wall using suitable fixings at a maximum of 500mm centres, then remove the spacer. It's a good idea to pen mark around the panels 25mm from the outer edges prior to fitting. Mark an additional line 70mm from the edge at the bottom of the panel. Insert the first roof panel over the wall starter timber, resting it onto the eaves beam timber. Ensure that the panel is fully located and pushed up to the host wall and the bottom of the panel is flush with the outside face of the eaves beam timber. Secure into position using the supplied 40mm stainless steel screws, 25mm from the edge around the perimeter of the panel along the top, bottom and sides. Next, repeat the same process on the opposing side of the roof. Now, insert the ridge timber between the two roof panels. Fix using 40mm screws at approximately 150mm centres. It is advisable to support the ridge level at this point with a supporting prop under the ridge end. Insert the butt joint cassette or the butt joint timbers into the first panel and fix using 40mm screws at 300mm centres for the butt joint cassette and 150mm centres for the butt joint timbers. Repeat this process on the remaining panels. Now insert the Georgian hip rafters into position. Mark the centre line of the front eaves beam and the centre line of the front panel. Then align and fit the front panel followed by the butt joint connectors and the remaining panels. Continue to fix the panels using the supplied 40mm screws at the specified centres on the top and bottom panels. Insert and fix the eaves infill timbers with the 40mm screws 25mm from the bottom edge at 150mm centres, ensuring that the timber is fully located. Then, pilot drill and fix 180mm screws on the 25mm and the 70mm lines at the bottom of each panel. Continue to fix all the eaves infill timbers. Fix the eaves tray sections using 6mm staples at regular intervals and 100mm from each end. Overlap the eaves tray sections by at least 100mm. Staple the bottom layer of the breather membrane to the roof, ensuring that the membrane comes down to the edge of the panel. Leave a minimum overlap over each membrane joint of approximately 150mm and 150mm upstand up the host wall. Cover the whole roof. Fix the wall starter soaker over the membrane at the wall end with a 50mm overhang. Butt together at the centre line of the ridge and fix with 40mm screws at approximately 500mm centres. Prior to fitting the soaker, ensure that it is cut to the correct height to suit the host wall and lead height. Slide out the upper eaves tile bar sections from the lower sections, then fix the lower sections over the membrane. 
but the first one up to the starter soaker and along the bottom edge of the panel. Fix using 40mm screws in the pre-drilled positions. Slide in the upper eaves tile bar sections into the lower sections, overlapping the wall starter soaker up to the first ridge feature. Leave a 10mm gap between each lower section to allow for moisture drainage. Before tiling, it's a good idea to mark up the hip center line and another line 15mm either side of this center line. This will come in handy later on when cutting the tiles up the hip line and fitting the hip top caps. The tabs underneath are used to locate and lock tiles into the tile bar and into other tiles. When tiling the right elevation, you must cut off the long tab down the right hand edge of the first full tile on each row. Working in a clockwise direction, fit the first tile onto the tile bar and push up to the wall end, leaving a gap of 40 millimeters from the wall. Connect the next tile and push until the connecting tab locates into the first tile's connecting groove. Position the tile to the five millimeter mark shown on the tab. Continue to fit the first row of tiles, making sure all the tiles are running in line. Then fix with the supplied 40mm stainless steel screws through the screw ports. Start the next row with a cut down double tile. Use the tabs on the underside of each tile to connect to the row below, sliding to the right to lock in position. The 250mm receiving slot is used in all cases. Complete the tiling on one side of the roof. Trim the tiles at the ridge if necessary. The hips can be trimmed when all the tiles are in place using a compact circular saw. If you do this, ensure that there is enough space between the blade and the roof felt so as not to damage the roof felt. If you prefer, you can trim each hip tile individually as you fit them. Complete the tiling for the rest of the roof. Prepare the hip caps by cutting lengths of expanding foam strips and attaching the strips along the underside of each edge of the ridge caps, leaving a 30 mm tail from the male end. Fit the hip end cap and first hip cap, fixing in place using 140 mm fixing screws and fit the screw cap covers. Fit the next hip cap, slotting the extended foam tape tail into the gap of the previous hip cap and fix as before. Trim the hip caps in line with the ridge center line as required. Assemble the ridge cap and ridge to apex cover together and make a 5mm pilot hole in both sides and fix together using the supplied push rivets. Place the assembled ridge cap and apex cover over the hip tiles. Dry fit the rest of the ridge caps back to the host wall. If the last ridge cap requires cutting, trim from the male end. Once all caps are placed, fix using 140mm screws and fit the screw covers. To complete the assembly, seal the last ridge tile to the host wall. Fix the fascia board J-clip to the eaves beam timber using 40mm screws at approximately 500mm centres. Then insert the lower soffit board. Fix the upper fascia board section using 40mm screws 150mm from each end and at a maximum 500mm centres. The soffit and fascia boards may need to be cut to suit the soffit and fascia heights and projection. Mark out and screw on the aluminium gutter clips using the supplied 40mm screws at approximately 150mm from the corners and at 500mm centres. Fix the gutter brackets into the clips. 
Fit the corner mouldings to finish off. Fix the unions and stop ends to the gutter, then fix the gutter into the brackets. The Celsius roof installation is now completed.